Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a tutorial on modeling chocolate. Um, you can use this for your molds, for some of your treat makeup, for some personnel that um, just do treats for hobbies every now and then. Just something to add to your collection. Um, with the modeling chocolate, um, only thing you need is some melted chocolate, some corn syrup, and the color of your choice. Um, I will be using this to do a strawberry rose. Um, I will have another um, tutorial, another video up very soon showing you how to do that as well. So let's get right into the video. So, like I said, you'll need your chocolates. Um, I usually use almond bark. That's my go-to brand. Almond bark is one of the best. Best to melt easily. Um, it tastes great, um, and it doesn't, like, coat up, like, a lot of the candy melts or whatever. But today, they didn't have any almond bark, so I'm using the, the, um, candy quick, which is also a good, um, chocolate to get as well. And they even, it even comes with a tray that you can microwave. You can microwave this tray as well to melt your chocolate. For this, you only need two Two blocks of chocolate. Two blocks of chocolate. I only, I only melted two blocks of chocolate, uh, which is about eight ounces. And then I'm going to use about a quarter cup of corn syrup. It doesn't have to be the Cairo brand. It's your desire of choice. Uh, I am using the Cairo brand, um, but it's just like the light corn syrup. You could go to the Dollar Tree to get the um, light corn syrup. I don't think it's k brand, but it's still light corn syrup. And you're just going to stir that in. You're going to stir that around. Get it all mixed in. And then you're going to decide on what color you want. I already did red. So I'm going to do um, purple. I'm using Chef Masters. You don't have to use this brand. You can just use some regular food color or whatever. But I'm going to use the violet. I'm going to put a little bit, a good bit in there. And I'm going to just fold it. If, since it's violet, since it's um the almond, um, not the almond bark, but the chocolate is white, whatever you use, depending on what color you want it to turn out it's going to be lighter you're just going to fold this in can y'all see that I'm just going to fold this in until it's good enough to the other side it's gonna probably going to clump up by now but it's still going to be good i'm basically just folding it and don't worry if you still got white in there because we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about five to six hours so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some of this stuff out of the way so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just basically get a um, piece of parchment paper I'm gonna pour my modeling chocolate onto this parchment paper. And I'll basically sit that in the refrigerator for about five, six hours. like the tutorial please like share subscribe to my channel i will be doing more more tutorials and more videos coming up but you guys are just gonna put that on the parchment paper you're gonna fold your parchment paper in here clean up my mess
And basically, yeah, see. you see how you can still see some of the white? It's because it's crackled. But once once you bring it, you should put it on your parchment paper and you don't fold it. You know, just make sure it's secure. You're going to stick it in the refrigerator for about five to six hours. And this is um, the red I just did. With the red, um, you have to put some pink and red as well. So you can get the correct color because it's white. So, like for instance, if you did black, you will have to do probably like a double um, coat of black. So that way it'll come out the color you want. And that is all. That's how you make the modeling chocolate. Um, my next tutorial will be with the strawberry roses. Um, I will show you everything with that next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you like. See you next time.